Let us take a lead ball, a wooden cube, a foam bar and weigh them up. The small lead ball weighs 20 grams. The wooden cube weighs 20 grams as well. And the big foam bar also weighs 20 grams. The masses are identical, but don't we usually say that lead is heavy and foam is light? The thing is that both a lead ball and a foam bar are bodies, whereas lead and foam are the substances of which those bodies consist. Bodies made of the same substance can be both heavy and light. If we consider a body ten times the volume, it will contain ten times the substance, and it will be ten times heavier. So, to compare different substances, we have to shape them into bodies of equal volume. Let's take a standard volume lead ball of 1 cubic centimeter. It weighs 11.3 grams. That's why they say that the density of lead is 11.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Let us now take a wooden cube of the same volume. It weighs 0.5 gram. So the density of wood is 0.5 gram per cubic centimeter. We should note that this was dry pine wood because types of wood may differ considerably in their density. Let us now try to figure out the density of foam. We are trying to weigh a piece of foam one cubic centimeter in volume. Well, our scales show us nothing at all. It is far too light. We'll have to take 10 cubes of that volume. They weigh 0.4 gram. This means that one cubic centimeter of foam weighs 10 times less, so its density is 0.04 gram per cubic centimeter. Let us write down the density formula. Density equals mass divided by volume. Density is denoted by the Greek letter rho, so this formula can also look like rho equals m divided by v. Let us determine the density of the metal this piece is made of. We find out its volume with the help of a measuring glass. It is approximately three and a half cubic centimeters. Next, we weigh it up. It weighs 26.6 grams. We divide 26.6 by 3.5 and we get the density. The measuring process was not too accurate, so we can only state that this metal's density is more than 7 but less than 8 grams per cubic centimeter. It is attracted by a magnet, therefore it should be steel. Let's look up the density of steel in a chart. It is 7.8 grams per cubic centimeter. You can find out about the density of different substances from a special chart. But there is one substance, the density of which has to be memorized. Let us take a 1 liter vessel. We can see that 1 cubic decimeter of water weighs exactly 1 kilogram. So the density of water is 1 kilogram per cubic decimeter. 1 cubic decimeter is 1000 cubic centimeters. Water's mass in this volume is 1000 grams. So the mass of 1 cubic centimeter of water is 1 gram. Thus we can say that the density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. Let us increase the volume now. 1 cubic meter is 1000 cubic decimeters. It weighs 1000 kilos. So we can say that the density of water is 1 ton per cubic meter. An engineer designing a construction knows its measurements and can calculate the volume of every piece. He looks up the density of the substance the piece is made of, multiplies it by volume and finds out the mass. Let us find out the mass of this container using this method and then check the result through direct weighing. The overall area of the plates the container is made up of equals 570 square centimeters. The width of its wall is 0.3 centimeter. So the overall area of the plexiglass 
is 570 multiplied by 0 0.3, which makes 170 cubic centimeters. We look up the density of plexiglass in the chart. It is 1.18 gram per cubic centimeter. Let us calculate the mass. 170 multiplied by 1.18 is 200 grams. Well, let us put the container onto the scales. It shows 196 grams, so our calculations are pretty accurate.